Noonan now with speed into the offensive zone for the Swamp Rabbits. Long shot by Axan and Milner made the save, but it got up high on him. He left the rebound. Now it's Noonan from the slot, and another save by Milner. Now the rebound shot stopped by Milner. And the Rays able to pick it up, and Patrick Gall get it to center. But Gulakis gets control. Couldn't get it out. Arnold kept it in on the line. Now McParlin behind the net. McParlin, far side. Zane Jack back to Arnold. Near side, Joe Devin faked on a shot, gave it to Arnold at the center. Arnold shoots, score! The Stingrays take the lead on the power play! There by the Stingrays just keeping it simple, and that's what Ryan Rosowski stressed really since the first two games of the series. Just get pucks on net, get traffic in front of whoever's in net for the uh, Swamp Rabbits, and if it doesn't go in, then battle for the rebounds, and that's really how they score. Really besides... Rabbits in control, Andrew Domit. Archambault pressures him, and Jajak gets the steal. Jajak, a shot was stopped by Malcolm with a right pad. Leach, a shot stopped by Malcolm, who left another rebound. But this time, it's right to Tommy Thompson. He gets ahead of the play. It's kept in, though, on a diving effort by DuPont. Joey Leach gets a steal off the far glass to the middle, and here comes John Parker. Short-handed breakaway. Parker scores! John Parker! It is the third goal in three games for John Parker on the penalty kill for a shorthanded goal by number six. A yeah, beautiful play there and a beautiful shot there by John Parker. Just beats him uh, low stick side there. You know. And the Swamp Rabbits clear. Federico, nice job defensively. Yep, great pass forward to McParland into the offensive zone. Hit by Prop of Estes. Leaves it a goal. Goal, a look to the net. He scores! Patrick Gall, it is three to nothing, South Carolina with two minutes to go in the second period. But man, they have finished off in tremendous fashion. Great play there by uh, Patrick Gall, just waited out Malcolm, waited him out, waited him out, went down his butterfly and then put it right up over his glove. As the Rays bring it back in, Zane Jack trying to get to the line for Weinstein, but it's out of the zone. Milner aggressive. Playing the puck and turning it over. McPherson a shot, and Milner gets back to make the save. Their own zone here on the power play. Get a look at the Milner play. Turned it over to McPherson on the far side. McPherson went one-on-one -on -one against Weinstein just to try to take a shot. Tristan King behind the net. King blocked by Minardo. Up the far wall. DuPont gets it stolen away, and it's Rob Flick to the net. It's in. Flick was taken down by McPherson, but that'll do it. Rob Flick with the empty netter, and South Carolina's moving on. Yeah, great play there. Great, just tremendous strength there from, by Rob Flick. Gets the puck around DuPont, and then looked like he had, uh, oh, what a... I mean, if you're and there's no penalty, he didn't, he, the referee didn't even call a penalty if on that. You're McPherson. Yeah. You gotta do that. Yeah. No. 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 I have no. Pro yeah. Absolutely, you gotta do that. It's four straight wins for South Carolina. They turn this series around and never let up. Final seconds with Weinstein on the puck. The Stingrays are moving on to round two. A four to nothing shutout for Parker Milner here at the North Charleston Coliseum. In South Carolina left no doubts about this one. A dominating 4-0 performance. The handshakes have started. Joe Houck at the front of the line for Greenville. And South Carolina and their first year head coach, Ryan Wersowski, will move on and continue this streak of playoff victories that the Rays have had.